Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm here today to talk about this. This is the new Baron Fig Confidant, the Raspberry Honey. And uh, so it looks as if, or seems as if, this is going to be the last one in my subscription. Now people that started their subscription a little bit later uh, after the subscription started may get uh, more subscription editions because they did promise that they were going to uh, get through all of the subscriptions that they still owed. So, um, but uh, with the work play to the askew, the metamorphosis, and now the raspberry honey, I believe that is the four that I paid for. So, um, okay, so this is the raspberry honey limited edition. That's just pretty cool illustration there on the uh, cover or on the box here. Um, standard. Things on the back, uh, opens flat, dot grid pages this time around, uh, smart dimensions, which are the same dimensions as always, uh, quality paper, so it's the same paper as a regular confidant, uh, the 12 perforated pages, and they, uh, even with these uh, limited editions, they do the buy a book, plant a tree thing. Uh, same specs, 192 pages, 5.4 by 7.7. .7. It's in berry burgundy, so we're going to show you that now get this off of here and there is a little booklet inside a uh, story raspberry honey by Jeff I do not know how to say this name Govea Veia I don't know uh, I'm gonna butcher it but um, so and it is a 16 ish page booklet yeah I mean if you count the cover so um, with a story about this young man, Yuri McLevel. So, um, written and illustrated uh, by this gentleman, Jeff Govia. So, um, anyway, uh, this is pretty cool. It's a nice little feature uh, edition thing. It's got some nice illustrations in it. And uh, it's a pretty inspiring story. So, uh, read that if you can, if you get one of these. But the real star of the show here is this book. Look at this thing. I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so uh, the cover is Berry Burgundy, which to my eyes, uh, you know, that's probably a pretty apt description. Um, it's got debossed bees all over it. So um, you can see that they've just... I don't know if you can, yeah, there you can see the depth. Uh, they're just debossed right into the cover. Um, the inside cover, though, you don't really see them, so, you know, it doesn't come through the other side. Uh, they've got their illustration here uh, for that. Um, and that's kind of in this, just like the box, in this, like, plum kind of, what do they call it, the fig wine color. Um, it's not really showing up very well on this video for some reason right now, but anyway, um, so that just kind of takes illustrations from the whole story and pieces them all in there. Um, it's, I counted these the other day. It's 95 bees on this side and it's the same on this side, except for it's a mirror. So as you can see there and there and there and there it's, it's just a mirror image so if the book is laid flat this side just mirrors this side right so um so yeah dot grid pages here um that's just standard there's their standard dot grid and this is what i was looking for this is a little like pink uh, rose kind of color um, it's kind of hard to see on video I mean it, I, I I'm assuming it looks pink it looks pink to me on video but uh, it's almost like a pale eraser pink um, more so than like what they were calling the metamorphosis as eraser pink or millennial pink this is more eraser pink to me than uh, than that is so kind of mess with the brightness here try to get her better color all right so um, inside back cover is the same as the inside 
front cover. So, all the same. Um, I mean, not the same exact illustrations, but same as far as illustrations from the, the book. So, and then you see here, uh, illustrations by Jeff Govia. And uh, that's it. Cool. So, um, I really like this edition. I mean, I don't have anything like too crazy to say about it. I really like the bees. I know a friend of the blog, Andy Wealthly, uh, from woodclinch.com and the Erasable Podcast, uh, he said that he would have liked one giant debossed bee on the front. Um, personally, I would have liked there to be a specific amount of bees uh, because in the book they allude to, I believe it's 78 bees in the story. Um, and I would, I would like for there have to have been 78 bees uh, as it sits. They just filled the front with bees and it's 95 bees. So, um, but yeah, this is really cool. It's a really beautiful addition. It's got a really great color to it. It's not, too wild, too outside the box. Um, you know, it's not askew levels of weird. Um, it is uh, different though in theme and in in color. Uh, it, more so than you know, maybe even the metamorphosis. Uh, just you know, just changing up some stuff. I mean, the debossed thing is a real cool thing, and I, and I kind of like that you can like feel texture when you're holding it. So if you were like walking with this book or something, you could feel a little bit of texture in your hands besides just the normal texture of the cloth. I really like this cover. Um, so, uh, anyway, I do have an extra one of these because, um, I have this description, but also Baron Fig sent me one for review purposes. So what I'm going to do on the blog at the end of the review, there is going to be a little sign up box um, and it's for entering the review only. So all you do is sign up with your first and last name and your email address. And then I will pick randomly from those uh, email addresses of people that enter. And um, anyway, more details will be on the end of that post uh it's going to be a random choice so you don't have to do anything except for email uh, enter in your name and email address and the only reason i want your email address is so that i can actually uh get you uh get a hold of you um i don't i'm not doing any emails right now i'm not uh sending anybody anything i actually have done uh no uh bulk data collection of emails at all uh so and I don't, I, hell, I wouldn't even know what to do with the emails if I, you know, if I had them. So uh, the only thing it is, so I can get a hold of you. And then I, it, it just creates a spreadsheet uh, on my back end. And then all I do is once the contest is over, I uh, delete that spreadsheet. So uh, once I get a hold of the person that wins. So anyway, uh, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button down there. And also, um, check out the review of the raspberry honey, um, and, uh, enter to win. Uh, so I'm just going to give my extra away and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.